Hello everyone and welcome. At home, the snow is pretty much all gone. This is a spot where we do a lot of camping here in the summer in different areas all over this road. And I decided I'd come out today and set up close to the river and have some lunch. Now they were calling for rain all day. It rained yesterday off and on, drizzled, misted, rained a little bit. So everything's damp. This morning, the rain was supposed to start at about 9 a.m. and go all day. They're actually calling for a lot of rain today. I've been lucky so far. It hasn't started yet. I'm hoping to find a spot, set up a tarp that I can sit underneath and have lunch. But I did not expect this snow. So I showed up wearing my hiking shoes. I brought my boots just in case, but I didn't think to bring the snowshoes. And some of the spots aren't bad, but every now and then I hit a spot where I'll sink almost up to the level of my boots. But let's get down the trail and see if we can find a spot to set up. this birch here with a whole lot of it hanging off and underneath my rain jacket I've got my pouch. I'm gonna take oh yeah that even feels damp luckily birch bark doesn't care it'll light even if it's damp Grab a little bit of that, put it in my pouch, and we'll keep going down the trail. Maybe we'll find a little more. This area here in the summer is just a slight trickle in the center with maybe just a couple inches of water. Water's up. This area is just a little tight, but I think I'm going to run a line from this tree to that tree and hang my tarp down here so that I can sit down by the river with a little fire in front of me, cook my lunch, and enjoy a wonderful afternoon. In anticipation of all the rain, it was supposed to rain a lot. I left Lucy at home. And Anne was busy today. I'm going to set up the tarp just so that if it does start to rain, I can have my stuff under the tarp where it's dry. I was hoping to train in the rain, but at the same time, if I can get the tarp set up before it rains and stay dry, I'm okay with that. Got my line. I'm going to sneak my way through these branches and tie off to that tree up there. Now all I'm doing is I've got a loop on the end of my line. So I'm going around the tree. Feeding a bit of line through it. Adding a toggle. And that should hold it tight. <laughs> okay. 
So our line is just a little bit short. But do we have a big enough branch? There's a little branch here that I think is gonna do the job. So. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe that'll hold. Feed it through. Here's where the Swiss Army knife is going to come in handy. Bust out the little saw. Create my loop, run my line into that saw cut. Aha, now it doesn't want to slide. Toggle in there, tighten that up, and now that won't move. And this is not sliding, it won't move. Perfect. Now, I brought the tarp for the East Hills Outdoors hammock. Just because it's a nice little nine by nine. And it should be all I need. I'm going to drape that over the line. And now at this end, I got a nice bright pink Prusik loop. There's a nice loop through the tarp here. Feed the Prusik through the loop. Insert toggle. Then I just have to tighten it up. And now I just tie back the ends of the tarp 
and we're ready to go. Not sure if you can see, there's a little bit of rain falling. You can see the drops on the water. I'm hoping the camera is picking it up. This thing is huge. But this is a small tree that grew beside it and it's dead. Because it was so close to this one, this one was stealing all the sun and all the nutrients. So if I cut this piece off here where it's dead, we've got firewood. And now it's time to put the big boy to work. Now might be the perfect time to move you to a better spot. Hopefully you're far enough away. Now, obviously, this log is too long to bring completely in here. So I'm going to have to cut some of it up. It's just a light rain. Nothing too serious. I seem to be well protected under the tarp here. I'm uh, hoping to put the fire in front of me. Because it's not raining super hard, I'm hoping to have it just outside the tarp. But first, I want to see if I can find a branch just to hold up the peak. So I found a branch, but it's pretty crooked. And all I did is I stuck the branch through the loop. And I had a short piece of paracord. So I tied it part way down and staked it down by the water. Now, the outside of this stuff is a little damp. But the inside is nice and dry. Now, I'm being very careful not to go all the way to the bottom with the knife. I do not want to hit these rocks. Take off my hat, take some of these drier pieces, and I'm just creating some shavings. So now I've got quite a few shavings in my hat. I'm going to set those aside. Now, this birch bark is still just a little bit damp. So I don't know how well this is going to work. Take out the saw.
So when all else fails, we break out our keys. Fire's going good. I'm gonna add some water in here and set it by the fire. Warm it up to make some tea. I've also got my Coughlin's folding grill. And for lunch today, we have Jim Horton's potato and bacon soup. Ooh, smells good. Oh, that's really thick. I don't want it to get too hot too fast. Otherwise, it'll just stick to the pot and burn. So we'll set that on the grill. little bit away from the heat. Ooh, actually, maybe I should uh, turn those handles away from the flame, huh? That might help. While we're waiting for the water to boil and the soup to warm up, I want to take a minute just to thank you all. Yesterday morning, we hit 500 subscribers. That is amazing. I never thought it would get this big. Okay, 500 is not huge, but I never thought I'd make it this far. So I want to thank you. And I want to thank all the future subscribers that haven't found the channel and haven't joined yet. Once you join, you become part of the In the Woods family. So, I just wanted to take a minute to say thanks. You are all appreciated. There will be many more adventures to come. I'm uh, looking forward to, for the weather to warm up 
a little bit more so that Anne will come out here with me uh, more often. It should be another great summer of camping, canoeing, campfires. It's going to be another great year. Water's hot. Oh, oh, one, two. That's the last of my tea bags. Got to refill this when I get back home. Forgot to check it when I left this morning. And... <sighs> I guess we can call it lucky that I actually have enough tea. Gonna leave this. On this side of the grate, so it still stays warm, but it doesn't get overly hot. Now let's check on this soup. Almost ready. Now, because of all the rain yesterday, I ended up not working. I brought out yesterday's sandwich. Soon I'm going to move that soup just a little bit and make a nice warm spot so I can toast my sandwich. And then we'll have a nice toast, well, a toasted sandwich with some soup. Soup's good and hot. Nice little chunks of potatoes. And there's some little bits of bacon in there. Mmm. Oh. oh, that is good. Saved it just before the burn. The other side's nice. Oh. Mm. Mm. Nicely toasted. The cheese is just melted enough. Mm. This is going to be delicious. Lunch is done. The uh, nice part about being by the river. Makes it easy to wash dishes. Oh. 
the stool I'm sitting on is not really meant for out here. The legs on it are a bit too small and they sink in. But I don't usually use it when I'm out here. I usually keep it in the back of the car. And when I'm at work, if there's nowhere to sit for lunch, I pull out my little stool. Comes in handy in the summer when it's really hot and there's nowhere to sit in the shade. I just grab the stool and find some shade somewhere. Oh. But I got all the way out here and realized I didn't have a chair. So I grabbed it out of the back of the car. And I get to sit. I put the last of the logs on the fire. I'm uh, sitting here enjoying my tea, enjoying the fire, enjoying being under the tarp out of the rain. The nice part about this tarp is I can pack up everything back into my pack. And because I've got the sled with me, I can just throw it in the sled cover it with my blue tarp and everything will stay dry while I take down this tarp. I can put my rain jacket back on, tear this tarp down. I don't have to worry about drying it out. I can dry it out when I get home and I don't have to worry about it going into the pack all wet because I don't need to put it in the pack. I just toss it in the sled beside the pack and away we go. It's always nice to be out here on a nice day, set a fire, have your lunch. But every now and then, there's just something about the sound of the rain on a tarp. Very relaxing. And I sit here for a bit, enjoy the remnants of this fire, and then pack up and head for home. Thanks again for coming along. Always wonderful having you with us. And if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. If you're going to do that, you may as well hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.